Okay, you know, one of the most important things that a dry fast does is it stimulates mitochondrial biogenesis. When you go into autophagy, when you stop eating and drinking, and you're only fat, uh, tapping fat cells for energy, your organelles inside the body say, okay, now we can stop doing all this other stuff and replace each other and make brand new things like mitochondria. Mitochondria will actually populate inside the cells if the cells are in a condition of building again, of fixing it during a dry fast. Um, what you do during the year has a lot to do with the condition of your mitochondria when you get into a dry fast. Let me explain. Um, it turns out in this visual here, where an experiment was done on identical cells of the same lines and fed palmitic acid and oleic acid, the cells above, uh, the above image, are the palmitic acid cells and the mitochondria are you chewing up the palmitic acid just fine and no problem, no damage to the, to the mitochondria or the networks of them. Um, but the oleic acid, uh, a very strange thing happened these oil globules started forming inside the cell and the mitochondria started fracturing and breaking because they can't use that particular kind of free fatty acid. Now, that's a polyunsaturated fatty acid. That's why I go for the olive oil and the coconut oil and the grass-fed butter and all that kind of stuff to make sure that I can get these long chain saturated fats in my diet that work great in the mitochondria along with sugars real good sugars like fructose, which is a glucose with lots of fructose molecules plugged onto it. Your, your body needs this stuff. It's the right food for you. Now, what also happens is called thymic involution. Now, the thymus, which is right here, is the organ that's designed for leukocytes to come out of the bone marrow to differentiate into T cells in the thymus and then be able to protect your whole body. Uh, over time, you'll see in this image, it has these same fat globules forming on it. And this is also the source of cellulite. You know, this stuff gets into the cells and accumulates. It can't get out of the cells. And so the cells blow up with these fat globules, like in this image. So if you really want to solve a lot of problems, weight, cellulite, lack of energy, all the other things that come with the wrong foods, Eat the right foods. I mean, that's really what it is. Fortunately, during a dry fast, you can correct almost everything that's going on during the year with the early dry fast. You don't have to dry fast all the time. You don't need to treat something unless you have something to treat. You know, so it's a situation where get yourself to the mood where you can do a five or seven day dry fast and see how it works for you. See the things that have happened positively to change your metabolism. That's my only advice on this. Fiend's protocol is all about testing this idea that you can have cyclic re generations of your stem cells to produce more army in the fight against the somatic paradox, which is the cells that you're born with while the stem cells sleep, and they go through the replications till the bitter end. Um, so mitochondria is the key to this. You have to have energy, and you have to have lots of mitochondria to make the energy, which is ATP. Um, there's two million mitochondria in the cells that make dopamine in the brain, there's 500,000 mitochondria in a female unfertilized egg. Uh, there's 25,000 mitochondria in the cells of the kidneys. They need energy to operate their systems. And just like any building that doesn't get the power that it needs to operate all the rooms and all the air conditioning, things start turning off to stay alive, to stay in business, so to speak. Well, same thing with life. If you don't make enough mitochondria, you don't make enough ATP energy, you're going to have that problem too. You're going to run out of fuel, you're going to run out of energy, you're going to run out of the jing, okay? The get up and go juice. Anyways, mitochondria and they produce ATP and that's what this message is all about. You can eat the right things, you can not damage your mitochondria, you can build good healthy cell walls and stuff with the right fats or you can build bad ones and fill your cells up with all sorts of fats and oils that they can't use and has to source someplace because it's toxic. They don't want to put it in the mitochondria. It's bad for them. They'll wait for the sugar to show up, okay? So the cells know what to do and what not to do. And what not to do is to use these polyunsaturated fatty acids. You need to really restrict them in seed oils, nut oils, and vegetable oils. Canola, oleic, sunflower, cottonseed, all these concentrated industrial seed oils. Okay, you need to cut them out. It'll be a really good thing for your health. Oh, and uh, by the way, up your salt intake. It'll probably help too.